What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Mayweather Promotion CEO and promoter, Lennon Ellaby, did an interview ahead of his number one prize fighter. He is the CEO of, obviously, the Mayweather Promotions, who is Floyd Money Mayweather, retired Hall of Fame legend, iconic, undefeated, 50 and 0, former five division world champion, former pound for pound king, former pay per view king, or dare I say, he's still the pay per view king, and Floyd Money Mayweather. With that said, Javante Tank Davis simultaneously holds a WBA regular title at 130 and 135. Javante Tank Davis is a four time world champion. Okay, Javante Tank Davis is going up from 130, his last fight against four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Leo Santa Cruz. That took place at 130. Javante Tank Davis is now going up to 140, junior welterweight to challenge undefeated Mexican star boxer, who's the WBA junior welterweight regular champion. Emphasize regular. Javante Tank Davis, he beat. Three division world champion Olympic gold medalist Yoriokis Gamboa at 135 for the WBA regular title. With that said, today was the final press conference for Javante Tank Davis showdown with Mario Barrios, which is scheduled to take place June 26th, this upcoming Saturday. With that said, he was asked about the another champion or the champion at junior welterweight. In undefeated, undisputed, junior welterweight, British superstar boxer, world champion, Josh Taylor. Now, what's interesting about this is that Josh Taylor, after his unification bout against Regis Progre in the tournament, he won the Muhammad Ali Trophy, and he beat Regis Progre for his IBF junior welterweight title, and he had his belt on the line which was the WBA title, okay? He beat Regis Progre, and after he beat Regis Progre, Javante Tank Davis, he tweeted out and stated that he would knock out Josh Taylor in under four or five rounds, okay? He stated that Josh Taylor, you know, uh, wasn't as good as they make him out to be, and he would easily knock out Josh Taylor. Obviously, Josh Taylor got wind of this. He responded, and he stated that uh, if Javante Tank Davis wants to come up to junior welterweight, make the fight happen, let's make it happen, okay? This was back uh, in 2019, this uh, October of 2019, okay, when this took place. Since then, he beat Regis Progre for the WBA IBF title. Uh, then he went on, he recently, most recently, uh, May 22nd of this year, he defeated Jose Ramirez for the WBC and the WBO title that Jose Ramirez had to become undisputed, okay? Josh Taylor undefeated, 18 wins, no losses, no draws, 13 wins by way of knockout, 30 years of age, stands at 5'10 with a 70-inch arm reach, okay? Uh, so Josh Taylor is seen as the official champion at junior welterweight. He holds all four major sanctioned bodies in the ring magazine. He is the lineal junior welterweight uh, undisputed world champion. OK, Javante Tank Davis is going into a showdown with Mario Barrios for the WBA regular title. Uh, this is uh, an issue that, oddly enough, even Floyd Mayweather himself stated that uh, there were too many belts in the sport of boxing. It's causing too much confusion and it needs to be done away with. But his fighter, his ace fighter, Javante Tank Davis, is fighting for the WBA regular titles. 440 and 130, 35, and now 140. Javante Tank Davis, 24 wins, no losses, no draws, 23 wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age, stands at 5 for 5 with a 67 with a 67 inch armage. Like I said, this upcoming Saturday, he'll be taking on Mario Barrios. Uh, Mario Barrios, 26 and 0, uh, 26 wins, no losses, no draws, 17 wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age himself, 5 for 10 with a 71 inch armage. Okay. Mario Barrios, again, is the WBA regular champion. So, in the press conference, when asked about a possibility of Javante Tank Davis fighting against Josh Taylor, Josh Taylor recently stated that 
if Tank Davis wants to stop fighting for these Mickey Mouse belts and actually fight for a real title, uh, let him know. Now, he has to go into a mandatory challenge with Cottrell, uh, but he's looking to go eventually up to a welterweight, full welterweight limit and challenge the last undisputed junior welterweight world champion, who is a three-division world champion, and he's currently the WBO welterweight world champion in uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. With that said, Josh Taylor, I'm sure he'll stick around for one more fight at 140 if it includes Javante Tank Davis. That said, uh, Leonard Ellaby, Javante Tank Davis was asked about this, and Leonard Ellaby, he answered, and Leonard Ellaby, he stated that Josh Taylor had a thousand fans at his last fight. Obviously, they fight in a bubble uh, in Las Vegas um, with top rank. He's Josh Taylor's with top rank. Top rank CEO and promoter, legendary promoter Bob Arum. They still fight in a bubble without fans in attendance. So he states, well, Josh Taylor only had a thousand fans in attendance. Well, we understand why. He would have clearly had more than a thousand fans in attendance if he wasn't fighting in a bubble uh, due to the still the social distance and things not fully being opened up. Uh, Josh Taylor in the UK and in Ireland is a superstar. So uh, with that said, the fans in the UK and Ireland, they travel especially for an undisputed match. They just wasn't able to travel due to the fact that there's restrictions. So he says that they only had a thousand fans in attendance. And then he says that Josh Taylor doesn't bring anything to the table. Josh Taylor doesn't bring anything to the table. And then that was followed up with the reporter saying, well, it's for legacy. And he says, he responds, well, legacy will come down the road. But you're fighting Mario Barrios. When did Mario Barrios headline the card? And who says that Mario Barrios is a bigger draw than Josh Taylor? Because he's not. Yuriokis Gamboa is not a bigger draw than Josh Taylor. Because he's not. So, if everything is opened up and full capacity... Josh Taylor is going to have a serious fan base travel to the States. So Lennon Ellaby states that he's just not known here in the States. Well, he's a bigger name here in the States than Mario Barrios. But you're fighting Mario Barrios for the WBA regular title. But you're saying that Josh Taylor doesn't bring anything to the table. and He's the undisputed, undefeated junior welterweight world champion. He holds all four major sanctioned bodies. He's the lineal champion, the ring magazine champion. And you're saying he brings nothing to the table because his last fight, he only had a thousand fans. When we understand why he only had a thousand fans, because everything is not fully opened up to full capacity in his last fight with Jose Ramirez. That was in May. So to say he brings nothing to the table. is irresponsible on the part of Lennon Ellaby. Because it hurts the sport of boxing. To say Josh Taylor brings nothing to the table. Of course he brings something to the table. He's the undisputed, undefeated champion. And he has a bigger fan base than Mario Barrios. Even here in the States. Because his fans are going to travel. The UK fans, the Ireland fans, they travel in drones. So to say that he doesn't have a fan base because he only had a thousand fans. That was the max capacity. Or did he forget that also Jose Ramirez has a bigger fan base and is a Mexican superstar boxer bigger than Mario Barrios. He too was involved in his fight, but there was a limitation. He couldn't, they could not have a thousand fans in the arena. So it had nothing to do with only being a thousand fans in the arena because there was, that was the capacity. Jose Ramirez can attract more than a thousand fans himself. He's a bigger star than Mario Barrios. So why are you fighting Mario Barrios? If that's the case. If you're only interested in what an, your opponent brings to the table. As far as star power goes. And revenue. Then why are you fighting Mario Barrios? Because he doesn't bring that to the table. He's not a superstar in the sport of boxing. He's not a well-known name here. In the, in the United States. He's a hardcore boxing fan. Fighter. Mario Barrios, how many headline cards did he do, major headline cards, that has Mario Barrios done? 
Yeah, Yorio Gamboa was a bigger star than Mario Barris, but he is not a bigger star than Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor is going to bring, as Floyd Mayweather always loved to elegantly, so elegantly put it, they bring in a whole country with them. So he's bringing, Josh Taylor is bringing an entire country and he's undisputed. So to say he's bringing nothing to the table, or is it stylistically you don't like the matchup? Because see, he's 5'10 with a 70 inch arm reach. Like Mario Barros is 5'10 with a 70 inch arm reach. But Josh Taylor is more skilled than Mario Barrios. Josh Taylor has a higher ring IQ. Josh Taylor has more better technical abilities than Mario Barrios. Josh Taylor, if he was to step in the ring right now with Mario Barrios, you replace Javante Tank Davis, he would be a huge favorite to win the fight. Josh Taylor is bringing more to the table than Mario Barrios. So if that's the case, then why you fight Mario Barrios on pay-per-view? If it's only about Tank and his selling power, well, then you can sell Javante Tank Davis versus Josh Taylor more so than you can Javante Tank Davis versus Mario Barrios if he's going to carry the card. He's going to bring more fans in attendance and more revenue than Javante Tank Davis, especially if everything's open up full capacity and everybody's allowed to travel. This is what hurts the sport of boxing. This is what hurts the sport of boxing. Not Jake Paul, not Logan Paul. This is what hurts the sport of boxing. When you say Josh Taylor, undefeated, undisputed champion, brings nothing to the table, that's the reason why you don't want your fighter to fight him, but you're fighting a guy who brings nothing to the table because he's not even an official champion in the division. So the official champion doesn't bring anything to the table, but the interim champion brings more to the table. That's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Ebony Bridges, Blonde Bomber, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.